Hey, what's up? My name is Dave Haskett. I'm a bass player from Toronto, Canada, and uh, I play with Sean Mendez. Today we're here at Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, and uh, I'm going to show you my rig. So, <clears throat> to get started, I'm playing this uh, jazz bass. Uh, this is a four string. I got a couple different basses. Um, I got a, another. I got a P bass with flats, a P bass with round wounds, four string jazz, and a five string jazz. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you some stuff on the five string. Sorry, on the four string jazz. So to start things off, uh, we're coming out of the wireless pack, um, going into the wireless unit uh, downstairs below the stage. I'll show you that later. Um, coming out of there, we're going into uh, into the DI, into a little noise suppressor. Um, and of course into the hyperluminal compressor, which is um, a compressor pedal from Dark Glass that I'm using um, pretty much all the time now. It's pretty much just sort of become an always-on, go-to kind of pedal that's a really big, important part of my sound. So the compressor is living downstairs, um, and then all of that comes up here, and we go into the pedal board. So we're, uh, we're below the stage right now in what we call the bunker. It's not as scary as it sounds. But <laughs> this is where my uh, this is where the signal path actually starts. Um, so, like I said, uh, coming out of the wireless, we're going into the wireless unit over there, and then over to this rack here, which is where some more of my bass stuff lives. So, um, out of the wireless, we're going into this uh, noise suppressor pedal. That's just to clean up uh, any noise from like a high gain uh, drive sound. You just want want to make sure that you're cleaning that up. After that, we're going into the hyperluminal compressor. So this is uh, a compressor pedal from Dark Glass that I absolutely love. Uh, I just started using it this year, and um, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's living in here. And um, the reason that it's under the, underneath the stage and not on my pedal board is that it's basically just become an always-on pedal. That's just part of the signal chain uh, and a big part of my sound. So um, this is a really great compressor. Um, it's, it's just tightening things up a little bit. Um, the compression is not too heavy, but it's, it's, it's making things a little bit squashed in like a nice way, uh, and in a way that I can hear, but it doesn't affect my playing. One thing that's really cool about this pedal is uh, these touch sensors, which are allowing you to change uh, your ratio and also the type of compression. Uh, so these are just really cool little buttons that you can just touch with your finger, and there's an LED showing you which setting you're on. Um, and I actually really like these. So I've got my ratio on the second LED there, which I believe is uh, a 4 to 1 ratio. Um, and then on the other side, I'm using the, uh, the bus compressor. So this compressor pedal has uh, three types of compressors. It's got uh, the bus, the sim, which I believe is based on the dark glass uh, super symmetry, which is a which is an older compressor model, and then there's an FET style compressor. So mine's on the bus, um, and I find that just to be for what I'm doing the most pleasing sound of compression, really nice and even and smooth, uh, adding a bit of character, nothing too crazy. So yeah, this this pedal has been a huge a huge uh, thing for me in terms of developing my sound this year. Um, I really think it's making a big difference in in the overall bass tone and the evenness uh, and just making everything sound really great. Um, so yeah, we're coming out of that uh, into the DI here and then that's what goes up to the pedal board. So coming out of the DI, we've got a, uh, a quarter inch output which is going into uh, my bass amp um, and we have two cabinets. There's one over there which is a 4x10 that we have a, a mic on. So that's, that's going into my ears as well as to front of house. Uh, to give that, you know, nice classic amp sound, which we can dial in. Uh, and the other cab, which I think is really cool, is over here. Uh, and that's a 1 one by 15 cab, so like a much subbier, low-end kind of cab. Uh, and this is actually ratcheted to the bottom of the stage. And this is like my favorite thing because that's giving me uh, that nice feeling of air and like lots of bass on stage, which bass players obviously love to have. We're used to having you know, a lot of low end going on, a lot of air moving. So uh, this is really cool because I can have that great feeling of having a bass cab right beside me uh, without actually having it on stage. So this guy's just strapped right to the bottom of the stage, right underneath my feet, giving me lots of nice low end rumble and uh, great stage vibe. Got a tuner, obviously. 
and then um, everything is being run by this pedal switcher here. So the pedal switcher is very cool because it allows me to combine different pedals. For example, I can put uh, a drive sound with a envelope filter sound without having to do too much dancing around on the on the pedals. So this is very easy. You can also um, you can also mix up the signal path, so you can put you can change the order of the pedals without actually having to like physically rewire them. So that's very useful. Um, so that's what's going on with this switcher here. So after the tuner, the very first thing in the chain is the Microtubes X7. So this is my number one drive pedal. Uh, this is a pedal that I use a lot during the show. Um, really fantastic drive pedal. It gives me a lot of options. So right now I've got my sound dialed in. Um, and the thing that I really like about this pedal is it preserves a lot of your clean sound, your low end sound. You're not really losing any of that nice, rich low end that you're getting from your clean bass sound. You're keeping that, and in addition to that, you're putting a really, really nice cutting drive on top. So <clears throat> I've got this thing dialed in. Um, a little bit of the low compression, low level and high level are both at about 50%, a little bit more on the high level side. And then I've got a good amount of the high drive. Uh, so a little bit about my settings on the Microtubes X7 here. Um, I spent a good amount of time dialing this in, trying to get a really, really great drive sound that um, kind of works for the whole set because I don't really want to be down here dialing around with the pedals too much when I'm, when I'm on stage. So I've got this dialed into just a great all-around drive sound right now that sort of works for everything. Um, a lot of the music in Sean's set is like pretty rocking. So we've got a, a pretty pretty aggressive drive sound here um, that cuts through really, really well, adds a lot of really nice, rich, high end to the bass. Um, so to start off, I've got a little bit of this uh, low end compression dialed in, and that's just keeping my low end nice and tight, um, making sure that I preserve a lot of that really clean, uh, nice low end of the bass. Um, same thing with my low level, I've got that just above 50%. So just trying to preserve basically my clean tone uh, while adding drive to it at the same time. So that's the thing that's so great about this pedal is you can, you can really preserve that clean tone and um, make sure that you're not losing any low end when you click it on. Because you, you have drive pedals out there where you put them on, it sounds nice and drivey, but you lose all that sort of really nice low, uh, low bottom end that everyone obviously wants to keep with bass guitar. So that's what's happening here. Um, high level. Um, I've got at maybe 55%, and then high drive, we got cranked up pretty high. So like I said, it's a pretty drivey sound, um, but in the context of the mix, it just sounds great. It really cuts through, uh, really gives you that nice attack, nice high-end information that you want to get um, from a drive pedal. Um, <clears throat> and then down here on the EQ, um, well, first of all, there's a master volume on this pedal, which is really, really useful um, because I found when I was dialing it in that if the master was just at 50%, just at zero, uh, it actually was quite a bit louder than the rest of my signal. So the master volume is super useful because the way I have it dialed in, don't want all that extra volume, so I've got it just a little bit below zero and that makes everything nice and level. The bass isn't popping out too much when I, uh, when I turn on the micro tubes. So that's something that I really like. Um, the EQ, it's nothing crazy. There's a little bit of bump in the mids there, uh, just to give me a little bit of that extra definition. Um, and then this high pass knob is really nice. Um, you can go, you know, from a pretty subtle high pass to, uh, to something pretty crazy. So mine's not too insane, but that's giving me a nice, a nice, a nice boost of, uh, of the highs, giving me a nice, a nice bitey, uh, aggressive drive sound, that sounds really great. So uh, the Microtubes X7 is a pedal that I really, really love. Um, I'm really happy to be using that on this tour. Um, there's a few other things on here. We've got an envelope filter, um, an EQ pedal, which I'm using just for a couple moments in the show where we need to sort of suck out a little bit of the low end from the bass and sort of just leave that sort of high end stuff so that when we drop back in and take off the EQ pedal, you get that effect of the low end coming back in, which is sort of an interesting effect. Uh, the micro amp pedal here is basically just I use as a, as a volume boost pedal. So there's a couple settings on here 
where I'm using different bases that sort of aren't exactly uh, exactly the same in volume. So I'm using that, that pedal there uh, just to balance things out. So if I'm playing this bass in particular, that's going to be going through this microamp uh, just to make sure that everything's level and making sure that everything's at the right volume. Um, and then this is another fuzz pedal that's like a much dirtier, grittier fuzz with like an octave thing beneath, which is, you know, just used for sort of some special effects type stuff during the show. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going on with the pedal board. Um, I've also got a bass synth here that I'm playing quite a bit during the show. Um, and there's no pedals running through this in this rig right now, except for a tuner, because this is an analog synth. So there are times when it, it can drop out of tune. <coughs> It doesn't happen very often, but there's a tuner on there. Uh, and then this pedal here is just assigned to the, uh, the cutoff. So I can do like, like a filter sweep kind of thing with the synth as well, which is pretty handy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that's happening on stage. All right, so uh, I'll go ahead and show you how, how everything sounds. So uh, here's just a little bit of my clean sound. So right now, all this is going through is um, the compressor and the DI, and that's about it. So, um, and then uh, I'm going to go to my main drive setting. So, the only thing we're adding into the chain at the moment is the Microtubes X7, and this is my go to drive sound for everything. Another sound I use. So this is uh, the X7 um, with an envelope filter as well. So this is kind of a cool, like funky sound, but with with some with some drive to it as well. 